Time to lift another NXCAD secret. I'm gonna talk about selection and a selection progress and option you maybe haven't known before. Simone Burali has reached out to me one month ago and he said, it is very clever the way you used to implement by yourself the selection all except in the fillet. By the way, I'm gonna link the concerning video on the upper right because it's really cool content. If you haven't seen it before, then maybe because you are new to my channel, I recommend you to subscribe and use the notification toggle in order to be updated about new content. I love Annex, but it lacks this implementation out of the box on one of the greatest improvement the PTC made to Proe when it became Wildfire was the implementation of the associative selection. Examples, edges of a face, except body faces, except etc. Great video, thank you therefore. Well, Simony, it is possible also in NX, but it's still a secret for you, which I'm gonna lift today. Maybe a secret for further users. Just leave me a comment below if you have discovered a new secret or were already familiar with uh, which I'm gonna show you now. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from Bizler and hi and welcome to a new NXCAD secret video on my YouTube channel. In order to demonstrate you, I've created a box which is resulting from a sketch, a rectangle. And I'm gonna select faces now. But first of all, I'm gonna create an edge blend, which is related to only one single edge. It is called curve here. Connect the curves, etc. but it's an edge. It is not possible within the edge blend to select curves, by the way. Hmm. Maybe just because it sounds smoother, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it as it is, one edge. And now, um, in order to demonstrate you all but selected, all except, I'm gonna be using group face. Just to collect some faces, maybe in order to assign a color, however. And I'm gonna be using tangent faces as a selection rule. By using this rule, you will create a relation to one face. This one, this one, or this one. I'm gonna be using this one. And all tangent faces are gonna be regarded for the selection. So this one should not be modified. It's the top face of the extrude. So it's not gonna be lost unless the extrude is deleted. You should always regard this fact. Prefer the top faces or bottom faces of the extrude and not the faces on the side because those are related to the curves of the internal sketch in that case. And now I wanna exclude this one from the selection by using shift. That's it. I will just have to wait for the quick pick dots, use the shift button, hold it, and now left click. And you could now deselect the complete selection, all faces, all of intent, or face of edge blend. In that case, only one instance. And the question now for me is always, is this update stable if there is a modification? And I can tell you, yes it is. Let's prove this. Therefore, I'm gonna modify the edge blend and add a further edge, a further relation. What's gonna happen now? The edge blend was created before group face. This is meaning that when group face is active, one, two, three, four, five tangent faces are gonna be there. So I'm just gonna apply and select group face and here you can see that this is stable. All tangent faces, but meaning except one specific face are gonna be collected. And now you could, for example, right click and assign a feature color, whatever you are gonna use this for. I've already produced a video of this progress, of this method in order to assign colors to specific faces by using selection rules, which are update stable, and group face. Group face does not contain new faces, it's just a collection of existing faces. Might be useful also for cam users, however. Maybe if you have further ideas, let me know in the comments below, I'd be interested. So this is one scenario, it's as possible in terms of selecting faces, but also edges, of course, and therefore I'm just gonna roll back to the extrude 
and select all edges but one specific edge. I'm going to create a relation to body edges. Body edges is meaning you will create a relation to the entire body, but you have to select one edge. It doesn't matter which one. So the relation is not created towards a specific edge. It is always created towards the entire body, but you have to select an edge. I'm going to exclude one of them by using the shift key again, wait for the three dots, left click, and just exclude one edge. But why this question? First of all, in this case, it really makes sense to um, work like this to select all body edges, but one, of course, it makes sense. And now you know how it is working. So it's no more a secret. For example, if you want to add a chamfer here, this is the progress, this is the method. But in the video, which I have linked on the upper right of this video, if you haven't seen it before, the selection scenario was different. And I'm just going to reproduce the steps, just going to delete everything. I have created a relation to the entire body. I have rounded all edges of the body. And afterwards, I have deleted. So it's a similar scenario, but I've created a relation to the entire body first by using body edges. And now I'm going to create a relation to faces and not specific edges. And in the concerning video, I have created a relation to the top and bottom face, all adjacent faces by using delete face. Many people would say, Oh, synchronous within your construction, that's witchcraft. Um, no, it's not definitely not. It's a specific method. And I'm not using the entire bandwidth of commands here. I'm just using delete face. Why? Just because now I'm able to create a different edge blend regarding face edges, for example, on the bottom, maybe this is a kind of pocket, however, with a different radius. I could now exchange the internal sketch or modify the internal sketch. And it's going to be update stable, I could right click the extrude, edit sketch, delete all the curves, use the profile, for example, in order to create a polygon, maybe add an arc, however, it doesn't matter. And the trick is that the top surface and the bottom surface of the extrude are still unique, they're not modified. It's just the side surfaces that are modified. So I've created relations to the entire body, then the top and bottom surface and all its adjacent faces. I'm going to finish this, there's no review required. And here it is, here is my result update stable, as you can see, all edges are rounded, except the adjacent faces of top and bottom. And here is a different value. And I've not used um, tangent curves or things like that for the creation of this one. I have used the selection rule face edges. Why? If you have seen some videos on my channel, maybe you know already just because I'm always concerning the horizontal modeling philosophy, which I call it maybe you call it different, however, which is saying that you should always create relations to possibly oldest objects in your model history. So the oldest object is this one, it's on timestamp zero, then there's a feature, and something does result from the feature, it's a body in terms of the extrude. And in terms of the edge blend, the result of the feature is a face and edges are newer than faces, faces are newer than bodies, bodies are newer than features, and curves are newer than sketches. What does it mean? If you create a relation to curves, which are resulting from a sketch, always try to create a relation to the entire sketch and not specific curves of the sketch. And if you have to, you should consider creating separate sketches. However, sometimes it's not possible. That's okay. Sometimes it's not possible to create so called horizontal relations.
have a look at my videos if you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's very useful in order to create stable content, update stable content, in order to reuse things, in order to understand fails and warnings, however, things that appear during your construction, in order to reduce calculation time as well. Have a look at my videos if you haven't seen yet, because it's super useful and many, many of my clients are implementing these methods. I've also created a training, therefore, which is called NXCAD Secrets, which is just concerning selection rules and specific methods of creating some, some kind of modularity within your construction in order to reuse things, in order to avoid problems and make your life as a designer easier. I'm just gonna apply this. Hopefully you have learned something. Both methods make sense. You can exclude a selection within the selection progress as, as you have seen, which is useful sometimes, but you can also exclude by using delete face, for example, in terms of having such a scenario. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. If this wasn't a secret for you, let me know in the comments if you have any question or just want to support my channel, leave me a comment below. I'd appreciate that. If you want to be updated about new content, don't forget to subscribe and enable the notification toggle. I will upload further videos soon. Have a nice day. Goodbye.